Hello and welcome to the Planet Beer TV speed dating sessions from the backstage at Rivington Farm Trip 2024. Oh yeah. Yeah, Paul, what are we doing today? Uh, this place, Chris, is packed to the rafters with quality breweries, so we thought we'd take the opportunity to get to know as many of them as we possibly can. Yeah, so we're going to do quick 15-minute sessions where we're going to ask them questions, a bit, bit like speed dating. Yeah, a bit like speed dating. So we can ask them like, who are you? What, what do you do? How much money are you on? What's your relationship like with your parents? Uh, will you marry me? That kind of thing. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Depends who comes in. Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of breweries to get through, plenty of content. So today, who have we got, Paul? Today's brewery is... Baldin. Okay, so here we are for another uh, Brewer's Speed Dating session, and we are here with Andreas from... Now, I'm going to say Baldin. Baldin is pretty correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's, yeah. it's B-A-D-I-N, but there's an accent, a little circle over yeah. the A for those that uh, well, want to know. Yeah, the, the illiteracy idiots like us. Yeah. Really. yeah. Um, so you guys are from... You've come all the way from the Arctic Circle. Yeah, we actually did, yeah. Um, yeah, we met Ben earlier this year, and yeah. uh, we went out here to uh, to meet them, and uh, we invited them for the festival. We were just here in Lancashire and Sheffield collecting breweries for for our own festival, so we just fair play. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's talk so, about that a bit. So more this is a festival well, yeah. you guys do. Yeah, we do every every year. We invite uh, people that we 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 like and have a local festival up in Boda, where we are from. Uh, we we try to just. Find people that you like and, and hang with them. So, so did you say Bowdoin is actually a place as well? Then is it, is yeah. it like a Rivington? It's named after the place. No, that yeah, it is. yeah. The name Bowdoin com comes from the first uh, known settlings at the border, Bordeaux. Border, ah, Bordeaux uh, okay. Peninsula. Uh -huh. So it's. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. So we, when we started the brewery, we wanted to have a name which told where we came from, but it wasn't going to be directly. Boulder Brewery, because that's history. There used to be a Boulder Brewery. Oh, okay, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. You, 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 you've, you've said we when you're referring to your brewery. So how, how big's the operation over there? Uh, yeah, we started as a side project, like five friends, like the, the normal story. As it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we collected, uh, it was me and uh, my friend, uh, he's a doctor. Uh, we knew we didn't going to do this alone because we don't have all the skills we needed. So we just picked a designer. Uh, economics uh, and uh, yeah, built a Love good it. team Love from, from them there and uh, starting doing it uh, on the side of our normal regular jobs. Uh, that worked for four months and then we had to hire a guy. So what were you doing beforehand then? Uh, I, I used to be a postal officer okay. and then I was in a warehouse, got tired about that, uh, went to engineering school in Grimsta, and that was the place I, I um, learned about craft beer uh, at Nögneö. You might have heard of, heard of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first Norwegian craft brewery. Awesome. So I uh, finished engineering school, uh, went home, started home brewing, and then one year after home brewing, we started the brewery. A bit premature, but. Uh, it has worked. We're here now after 10, 11 years. So. I, I think every everyone in this industry is a bit premature. It's just like, let's yeah, just yeah, do it yeah. and see what happens. Yeah, and, and we, we didn't know any other breweries, so we did just found out of things. Ourselves. Oh, really? So, yeah, so it's so, not like you were influenced by specific breweries? You just thought, Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. We, 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 we travelled to Copenhagen to the uh, Mikkeler Beer Fest some yeah. years. Oh, okay, I got yeah, some yeah, yeah. inspiration that, there. That, that but, will but, do it for inspiration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, put... Your location, but Boulder, mm -hmm. uh, put that into like context for someone that has no idea, like ourselves. So, you're up in the Arctic. I'm going to guess that there's no one there except for Santa Claus and some reindeer, and yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. And, that's and polar yeah. bears in the streets. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> but, the, but it the, actually have all got really good imperial comes. stouts now. That, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty far north, it's um, it's only a 20 hours drive from Oslo. Fuck me. So, so uh, yeah. And the closest <laughs> cities are Tromsø, which is our main rival city when it comes to football. It's nine and a half hours drive. Oh, wow. Jesus. And then you have got Trondheim in the south, which is 11 hours drive. So, so pretty far. There's, there's some small towns around on the route, but the closest, which is over 20,000 people, is Moirana, which is 
uh, four hour drive from us. Well, we'll, we'll oh, paint yeah. that picture for us then. So, so it, 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 do you have a tap room or are you just purely bureau? Yeah, we, we, we do, uh, but it's. Uh, oh, surely you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, I mean, we we really, travelled all this way. It was, it was a leading <laughs> question, but what, yeah. what I'm trying to do is visualize what this place looks like and what, what yeah. happens when you get there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's pretty close to the. City center, it's 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 about it, forty it, hours away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 it's it's, <laughs> it's a five minutes walk from from the city center. Uh, it's an old old um, industrial industrial building uh, close to the harbor, so it's really nice. Yep. And we have the festival. There's the sauna next to the brewery. Oh. Uh, all the British brewers were hanging there all weekend. Of course. <laughs> we've seen them in the changing rooms yeah, after we've gone paddle boarding in the reservoir. Yeah, yeah. So we know they love hanging out yeah. in the shows. That's that's yeah. something I never want to see again, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the tap room is not open all the time because no. uh, the Seasonal. weather is pretty rough in Bula and only five minutes walk, but no one goes there uh, because of the weather. Yeah. The winter, when, so. when are you open then? When, when's the, the uh, seasonal weather for you? Yeah, uh, we mainly for events, uh, company events, and we do the festival, of course, uh, and um, uh, our local football team is pretty good at the moment, uh, and we do pre-match uh, parties when oh, they're wow. playing. So oh, that's, cool. Uh, 400 in the brewery, so hammering down lagers. So that's, this that's festival, fun. I've got to ask, can we come? Yeah. And when is it? Uh, it's uh, next year. I think it's going to be early June or okay. mid-June. We haven't set the dates yet, but uh, plan for early June, mid-June. But we're allowed to come? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, I had to think of it, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, um, no worries. Tell us a little bit. So obviously one of the things that we did uh, as part of like this uh, little speed dating session was ask mm. you to bring us a beer that you think best kind of shows you off what are we drinking or what are we about to drink yeah th th this was the only option now but it reflects us quite quite good it's it's a stout uh it's a marshmallow stout I think. yeah it's yeah. a marshmallow we don't do a, a lot of pastries uh we like to barrel age stout so we have quite some good barrel age stuff but mm. uh this one is a collaboration with um uh the garden from croatia oh um, wow. okay. Oh, okay garden brewery awesome. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. We got to know them when uh, we were traveling after our football team in uh, Zagreb two years ago. Uh, oh, we stayed cool. at their salesman's uh, place and uh, did a club down there. And uh, he came up to us last year uh, and we did this one. It's, uh, yeah, marshmallow, a bit of lactose, but it's not too thick. So it's, it's uh, what's it called? It's called Marshmallow Wave. Uh, marshmallow Wave. Uh, I've, yeah, I've, got to, I've got to say, I got a bit excited and tried a little bit. <laughs> Um, yeah. already yeah um, but it was amazing and I tried not to give the game away with my face <laughs> yeah it, it, it's that, not that thick so it's easy to just hammer down uh, <laughs> what's, what's the percentage it's 10 just a small oh, 10 oh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so be be careful I, I mean deceptive uh, it, it, yeah I mean again pastry sours for me don't tick the boxes because no. I've got much of a sweet tooth anyway you know? yeah. and it, it, there's I, no pastry in marshmallow I understand, but it's it's it's, it's conceptual. Yeah. Um, but there's a, when there's a little bit of sweetness in that, it's kind of robust dryness of a really good stout. You mm. know that really sings to me. That is banging. Tell us about some of the, I suppose the challenges that you have brewing. I mean, what what sort of temperatures do you guys get up to in terms of just your your town? Uh, yeah, what are we talking in terms of Celsius? Minus? Celsius. Uh, it, we're a coastal city, so not that January, February can can do like minus twenty, but it's, it's not that often. Yeah. The thing is that it's blowing. Climate. Yeah, it, the, it's, it's, wind windy, it's yeah. windy, and yeah. and effective uh, degrees Celsius is often three times as high as it shows. So yeah. So, so that's. Uh, are there any specific challenges that you have when brewing? Because not, of, because of your environment, or? not because of the weather. Uh, we we uh, in summer we we only use net water to cool down the beer in the uh, heat exchanger, and in the summer it can actually be warm sometimes. So sometimes <laughs> it takes a bit longer to cool the beer, but it's not a big problem. No. Our, our biggest challenge, I think, is we're so far from the market. Uh, we don't have a, a a supply of malts two hours away. We have to. Uh, order from uh, in containers, so you just just the I mean just you, the logistics. You've not, you've not made it 
I'm just going to approach the microphone because I, I went like that. I was, I, was, I was thinking about the yeah, the, just the, the the sheer logistics and the day to day operations. Of yeah, a brewery we have. From we, there. We have You've to... not made it easy for yourself, have no, you? No, we haven't. But we want to have a brewery in our town. I mean, uh, fuck it. I want to go awesome. to that brewery. <laughs> I mean, I've I've not been to Norway, but no. I know that it's expensive anyway. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, but, so uh, but you're but you're also adding on extra bits of logistics on yeah, top of that. Yeah, expense. yeah, so yeah, yeah. You're yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah, man, yeah. if you come to us, yeah. Well, um, uh, oh, still, yeah. it still sounds like it's worth the trip. It is. It is. Uh, and so you're from the land of the midnight sun. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Uh, are you glad to see night time while you're here? Are you? Yeah. Are you enjoying having some dark? <laughs> yeah. It's. It's. <laughs> nah. I like. I like the bright summers. Uh, it's yeah. like. Yeah. I like the contrasts. Uh, winter is dark. Summer is bright. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can be a bit tough in the winter. That's the problem. So what's, uh, what's it like at the moment? So as we record this at the end of August, what's what is it like up there at the moment? Uh, is it still light or is it kind of in the light, middle of but something? It's, uh, we're or? quite similar to here now. It's turning pretty rapid when it starts to um, get darker. So but, so, but it's like that all all day. Like it's yeah, just yeah, twenty four seven for three months. Uh, it's bright all all day. It's some th- it's, something yeah. that uh, caught my attention when we, when we do the introduction is you talked about your festival mm. and, and you were going across Europe and the UK in particular. Mm. Trying to find kindred spirits, yeah, 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 yeah. To, to bring yeah. over. Yeah. Who, who did you find in the UK that you 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 bonded with, and who took you, and then you took over to your festival? Uh, uh, we, we went um, uh, to uh, here uh, was the plan in the first place. Um, their Norwegian distributor uh, uh, sat us in contact. Right, he, he had heard about our festival. He wanted to have them at our festival and we went over here and met Ben and he said yeah we have a festival as well and he's all right Ben isn't he yeah, yeah he's, 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 he's a seems really nice quite uh, yeah. well organized he's, he's, uh, a, he's a, such man. a legend man. Yeah, yeah 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 so so um he mentioned that and we were like yeah yeah keep talking keep talking yeah. uh, <laughs> and he invited us <laughs> over the table there and uh and and he came to our festival we also went to uh Pomona just Yep. Same day and and in told them about our festival and showed them some pictures and yeah we want to come and uh, they came over yesterday we went to Pomona and had a, did a collab with them nice and, oh really yeah, oh, nice yeah, man yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I love Pomona yeah <laughs> I just I just love everything about their branding and their ethos it's, yeah they're, they're, good. they're really and really nice people there as well yeah we we also went to Sheffield to meet uh, Heist, which we met at Porto Beer, Beer Fest last year. You love Heist. I, I do. The tap room. Just just a small segue into Heist. I, I've got mixed feelings with Heist because the last time we went, it was my wife's birthday, uh-huh. and it was the day after, um, and I was feeling okay. Mm. And she'll kill me for saying this, but she was feeling like she'd been run over. Okay. And, and when we walked into Heist, um, she had a massive hangover attack and oh, had to go oh. home. <laughs> so she never experienced But you just hung around. Yeah, but yeah, I just yeah, stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's something with all the intricate pipe work, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Heist. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's got, yeah. got loads of game in machines yeah. in there. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cracking. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we invited them to the festival and they invited us over for a collab there and... We went home and uh, they came to us later and t- just Fuck having yeah. a good time in in, 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 yeah. in the Arctic. Well, uh, I mean, we're gonna come. I, I, I'm, I'm not even I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. <laughs> and I know we've said this to every single brewer that we've met so far. <laughs> yeah, but they were in Wigan, which is twenty minutes away from <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. But oh my god, as far as bucket list places go, yeah. to go to go up to. Yeah. the Arctic Circle, and mm. drink real craft beer. And if mm. this is anything to go by, fucking delicious. Absolutely. Craft beer. Like, we, we, need, we need to do it. We so, put it on our, on our agenda. It's, it, mm. It'll happen. So we like for June. We just need the sponsorship money to come back in. <laughs> um, so so uh, what, we, what we're asking everyone we're speaking to today mm. is if you could collaborate with any brewery in the world or just to maybe tease you in the right direction is there anyone here you could collaborate with who would that be i don't have any special ones we we, we like to travel and and just meet new people and, and another thing and briefly mentioned it, we, we've been traveling after the football team uh, every every time they're playing european matches Bulle Glimt, and they just draw uh, manchester united at old old trafford today so 
Uh, in that case, uh, it's going to be Rivington. Uh, well, they're playing this this fall at uh, at the Old, Old Trafford. Okay. So, so that's a that's, football uh, themed collab. I never actually thought of that. But that's, that's a, that's that's a really great nice idea. And, and yeah, also, yeah, Manchester yeah. isn't shy of really great breweries. So, I mean, you, yeah, you, you can, can take your a pick. pick. Yeah, yeah, take yeah. a pick. Yeah. But yeah. love it. Absolutely love that answer. Andreas, thank you very much for thank coming on. Thank we you will. For me. I, I mean, if we say that we're going to do it. I'm a real stickler for the detail. Oh, it's, it's what happened we're yesterday when you said we're going paddleboarding and then you forced me to go paddleboarding with a stinking hangover this morning. Yeah, so, so we're, we're going to have so to go to the Arctic Circle in June. Next a paddleboard? Year. Uh, what, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll I, put I you on a speedboard this uh, instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, you've been a legend. Andreas, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. Thank in. you.